Hello people who actually laughed at this lame title Admit it if you did laugh Welcome to another episode of How to Cantonese My name is Sassy Of course Yeah, this is the 16th video So I assume you know what my name is In this episode, we are going to talk about time In a day A day can be roughly divided into five parts which are morning, siu zhou or if you want to emphasize it is the beginning of a day you can say siu tao zhou since tao means hat literally it can also mean the beginning so yeah you, you get the point and afternoon ha zhao or some would say an zhao yeah they, they are the same evening you can say it is nyai man or wong fan and after evening comes the night night in cantonese is if you are part of the internet i assume you would be out during midnight right if you go to bed at 10 then i am sorry i apologize so midnight in cantonese is called leng sam but what if i want to tell the exact time if you want to tell the exact time then you need a clock not this one, not the digital one. You need an original one. Because if you have a good concept of that kind of clock, you'll be able to tell time in Cantonese in a much quicker way. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's start with the number 12 which can also be called o'clock in English. In Cantonese, we use the character theme to describe o'clock. Let's use three as an example. If you want to say it is three o'clock, you can say sam theme, sam theme, or if you really want to emphasize it is o'clock, then you can say Sam Dim Jong. Yeah, they, they are the same. And let's move on to number six on the clock. As it is called half past something in English, you can apply the same concept in Cantonese and call it blank dim bone, which bone means half. Take three again as an example. Half past three is Sam Dim Bone. Sam Dim Bun. For those who are good at math, perhaps you figure out like how about the other ten numbers on the clock? Um well that's simple. You just use that number to tell time. So for example, if I want to say it is 325, which is indicated uh by the number five. So you can just say it is now Sam Dim mm. Sam dim mm in Cantonese. Similarly, if it is now 345, that means it is now Sam dim gao. Sam dim gao. Easy, right? But how can we apply time into one sentence? If you have watched the other video I talked about places, in sentence structure. You may know that the preposition for places is hai in Cantonese. Actually, we can use the same preposition to ooh, tell time. Hai. Let's take that simple example I've used before. Ngo sek penguo. I eat apples. But to be honest, I don't really like apples. So if you want to say I eat apples in the morning, you can say ngo hai jiu zhou sek peng guo. Ngo hai jiu zhou sek peng guo. Because we like to tell people the time before everything. So you just put the time right after the subject. So in this case, the literal translation would be I in the morning eat apples. The same thing goes for exact time. So you can say something like Ngo hai sam dim bun sek peng guo. 
I eat apples at half past three. Um, do you understand? So if you are good to go, let's go for something more difficult. By more difficult, I mean put time and place together in one sentence. Please tell me you're excited, please. If we had to put two information in one sentence, we don't have to put two prepositions, so just use hai once. So the sentence can be 我朝早在屋企吃蘋果 because people tend to think the preposition for places is more important because they want to know whether if you are in the house or on the house or outside the house. Um, that's it for today's content. So recap time. Within one day, it can be divided into morning, 早早, afternoon, 下早 or 晏早, evening, 黃昏 or 夜晚, night, 夜晚, and 凌晨, midnight. If you want to tell the exact time, you have to have a good concept of the original clock because we use those numbers to tell time. And if you want to apply time into sentences, we use the same preposition hai as places. And don't forget to put time just behind the subject. Bear in mind that only the preposition of places is needed if you want to put time and places together in one sentence. So don't say two highs in one sentence or it would be awkward. I guess this is the end of this episode. Um, I hope the content helps you and if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like down below, give it a thumbs up. One like equals one clock. And if you have any questions or opinion or things like that, just leave it down below. But seriously, don't don't type in all caps. Be gentle, be polite, be civilized. And if you want to see more of my face and want to know if I would change my hair color into rainbow at some point in my life, please subscribe to this channel for more future videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!